All right, we're on video number three. I messed up on this already, so this is take two. <laughs> the video cut off on me because I pressed the button by accident, trying to uh, show off the book. But this was a fantastic year, okay? This has been the best Black Friday deals slash Offer Monday. It's just the fact it was the early Black Friday deals. They had all the good stuff. Black Friday itself was bad, uh, not that well done. And Cyber Monday only had like two deals and it was just bottom of the barrel stuff then. So, you know, I had to say early Black Friday deals was the best. You may hear some people say it wasn't that good like all the other years, but no, this, this was a fantastic year. So either electronic wise, uh, appliances wise, or n little other stuff such as, you know, um, blankets, sheets or whatever, that they had fantastic deals. So uh, something that came in the mail, I used my Amazon points in, you know, uh, right now some of my stuff was delayed. I won't get, I'll just have to do it another video, it'll be number 10. But what did come in, we're going to show off, but I used my Amazon points for this because that actual pre-orders that came in of a second wave or whatever wave it was, looked good. So I waited months on months and finally it came live to see shipping was over check like hell and it wasn't a deal no more, so... I was let down. I waited so long. I could have got it at a better price, but I used my Amazon points to knock $30 off. I got this for under $20. That's fine by me. I'll use my points, okay? <laughs> and finally, I was able to get a guide to Japanese role-playing games by Bitmap Books. Finally. Oh my goodness. This took forever to get. But, I mean, I finally got one, you know, that is sold out. eBay, Amazon have checked up prices, but finally I got a good one. Only problem is I had it on a place and Flames Jr. got the bottom of the book. You know, what? when I got into the room, it looked like he was just rubbing his face on it to find out, you know, sometimes they eat a little gnaw, gnaw on things. And, oh, man, hurt my feelings, but at the same time, could have been worse. It's just a little tiny bottom part. The book is still in fantastic condition. Let's go ahead and uh, uh, show a little bit off it, you know. Uh, let's see. Let's get the camera. Yes, yeah, crazy, right? I probably done messed up how everything look. <laughs> All right. So basically, lots of read reading material. But we got the nice little pictures here, you know. I mean, these are of the big, mostly big known. JRPGs. There's a little bit of the smaller, medium tier ones, but this book would have been way too big to get all JRPGs in here. So it basically starts, you know, from the PC days to up to now, you know. And your Final Fantasy. I like bitmap books, you know, but usually I don't go too big on them because and I said the pictures sometimes be a little bit smaller than some of these other uh, guides. Um, real big with Hardcore Gamer 101. Uh, hopefully I put it in the right place, but like They do theirs in volumes and sometimes it'll be on the same type. They have their own uh, RPG books or um, Side scroller books, you know, and they do volumes so they get they cut in parts, but here they got all the big type uh, JRPGs, you know, we saw Earthbound I mean like it's, it's so much in here. So this is a good deal right here what I got it for um, as I said, if, if the shipping was a little bit down, I, I, I would have uh, purchased it from the website itself, but I mean, okay, this looks like, like new, brand new almost, you know, so, but I understood it was never really read, so lo lo lots of goodies, lots, lots of goodies, you know, sometimes they have this big pic. usually they are known for having just a oversized picture, you know, but I enjoy bitmap books, you know. There's still some I still want to get, such as, like, once again, I said side scrollers. So, definitely hoping to get that. So, let's see if we can place this back without too much of a hassle. Yeah, that's two down. Let's get it a little bit high up. That'll work. All right, let's see what else we got for Black Friday. Or early Black Friday deals. Let's start with games. I already had this pre-order, so this came, the Pokemon Scholar, then Violet. I tried to get the double packs. I'm still missing Sword and Shield, but we got the other set before that. And then we got this. 
I'm not bad, right? Yes, it got a lot of glitches while I'm hearing. Um, they might put out a, a patch, who knows? But right now, they finally, Nintendo finally addressed it today. <laughs> All right. Finally, I've seen this at the lowest price possible. Well, not lowest price, but at a good price. But it was finally in stock. Every time I try to get it for like, you know, five, six dollars that it was advertised, it was always gone. So I got it still for under ten. Not the five, six dollars, unfortunately. This is, uh, how you say it? Puyo Puyo and Tetris 2, the ultimate puzzle match. I mean, it was cheap. Why not, right? And of course, I showed an unboxing for this devil in me. We had uh, the special limited edition or collector's edition, whatever you want to call it. They had this finally, I think, uh, for Cyber Monday, I think. Either Cyber Monday or the last day itself of Black Friday. That's Life is Strange True Colors. They had this bad boy, I think, for like, what, $20, $20 or under? $20 or $15. Like I said, they have some good deals. Anywhere from 10 to 15 20 I, I jumped on it. Some games, unfortunately, were still overpriced, such as um, Final Fantasy, Strange Paradise, or Stranger in Paradise. That was still overpriced. Um, and another game that's usually a little down. I can't think of the title right now. But those were still too pricey. I, I still waited out. Gamefly had it at a cheaper price one time, but that sold out instantly. Okay, finally they put Lost Judgment down for under 20. I got this for, uh, what's it, 15 I think. And this was like, I think, the second day because they had it at 19, both were done for 19, but then they dropped this to 15 amazingly and I scooped it up. And this is the one that kind of eluded me, the Lost Judgment. And I don't see why the Lost Judgment and Judgment itself are not steel books or slip covers. You know, usually they like to put the uh, uh, Yakuza or like a dragon is called now. It's a certain type of nice thing instead of a standard. But if you can look, this one is kind of protruding out in the middle. You know, I've never seen a game that kind of protrudes outwards. It's not like there's something, nothing in there except for like a, a, a sticker, but it's weird to see something, what do you want to call it? Pushed outward. However you want to put it that way. I knew this bad boy was going to be put on sale. It had a $10 and sold out. I got it from Walmart instead for $10. And I just bought another item from Walmart. Got free shipping for it. So $10 for Grand Theft Auto 5. I told you I refused to pay the day one price they wanted. The, the $39.99 and then the... I don't think it was 39 but day one price and then whatever they put it, I said it, if, if it drops the $10 or under, then I'll get it, but here it is, finally. For the upteen time I bought it, they know how to milk Grand Theft Auto V. <laughs> yeah, I mean, by this time, we could have been on Grand Theft Auto Ten. I don't know what Rockstar doing, I really don't, you know. Alright, and then... The, the one I, I just hoped would go down in price, and it did. And this are the type of games I said, uh, uh, two of them wasn't at a good price yet, but eventually they will. But this one was, and this is the Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection. This is part four, and um, the follow the the other one with the two females, I can't, The Lost Legacy. Okay, Thieves End and The Lost Legacy remastered for the PS5. Scoop that bad boy up. I still need to play... Deep sent on uh, PS4, you know, I still have to do that first. I think I'll do it first, you know, that way I can see the graphical improvement then. I don't want to do this first and then step down. So not bad, got that for a fantastic price. So once again, uh, it was either 20 or 15. And here's the other one that's around the same price that I definitely scooped up for 19. So that's Death Stranding Director's Cut. And I still haven't played uh, the PS4 version. I have <laughs> I'm so backlogged. It's crazy, but I did scoop up the PS5 Director's Cut. Fantastic price. And even so, this set isn't really a good game, but the price, it was $10 or under. Aliens Fireteam Elite scooped that up. I mean, the price was right. Why not? <laughs> I don't know what it is. If it's not Aliens vs. Predator, for some reason, the Alien games ain't that good. 
and they still got another one coming out so i don't know how that's gonna fare it i just hope it's not a, a 4v1 or whatever i hate those type of games all right let's jump into the movies <laughs> Oh no! I done dropped some, but it's the fact that there was a lot of deals. In fact, I had to cancel out some of the deals that I wanted because it was too many to get. You know, I didn't get the grand, uh, the Godfathers. Um, there, there was some other ones that I just I had to wait. You know, and just ah, uh, ten dollars under what? Fantastic deals. And this was a, a actual Cyber Monday one right here, the Interstellar, because I waited till Cyber Monday and got this. It was a little bit cheaper that day too. I got it for like ten. I think it was before they had advertised for eleven ninety nine, but ten, and it still got the slip cover. I held off off this movie for the longest because I didn't think a slip. They had slip covers anymore. We got Reservoir Dogs, and this was actually full price. This wasn't a deal. This just happened to fall, you know, on a day. The uh, one you know release dates, so scoop this up. It was still twenty, you know, nineteen ninety nine. So still ain't bad. And look at that cover. I prefer this over the steel book. If the standards look better, I won't get the steel books. You know, unless you know it's the Best Buy steel books, then I just don't get those. You know, unless it's just fantastic and with something more in it, like the how was it uh Fast and the Furious ones. You know, so not bad. Scoop that up. Lost City, this was definitely a, 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 like $8, $7, or like it was real cheap. So if I had the slip cover, I had to scoop that up. Shrek 2 was also a release date, $20. This cover is butt ugly. I was hoping they'd go with the original cover. Or, or you know, why not a steel book like they did with the first one? You know, they had a fantastic steel book. When they showed this cover, the the background was I think blue or green or whatever the cover was, and I was just like, "Ugh, this is but ugly." And even with the new white cover, it is still but ugly. It's the newer type covers when Disney put out, you know, for each uh, of its franchise, whatever it is, whatever. And uh, these covers were but ugly. I don't like it. I wish they had something different. It really looks uh, uh, underwhelming compared to the first one I got up to. We got the Untouchables. Oh, this was at a great deal. Ten dollars. Still book. I mean, not still book, but uh, slip cover. Saturday Night Fever was also a uh, release date. Twenty dollars. You know, nineteen ninety nine. But still, you want to say twenty? Scoop that up. Like I said, if the new releases are like around nineteen ninety nine, I'll scoop it up. But anything higher, I refuse. Paramount. Um. Uh, was it Fox? Um, Universal? A lot of those like to drop $27? Hell no, I'm not going to do that. $25? No. And so they like to do something that's around $21.99, $22. I was like, y'all can go to $19.99. I'll wait. <laughs> Crawl finally went down to $10. Scooped it up for a fantastic Black Friday deal. The Green Knight. For some reason, I thought this was a, a still book because how shiny it was at advertised, and it's, it's just a little slip cover. But still, $10, I'll take it. Star Trek The Motion Picture was at 15 unfortunately. I still scooped it up. Everything else was $12.99, but they wanted the motion picture director's cut, the first one still for 15 I take it. I, I did want the bigger boy, the bigger collector's edition, but I'm not paying that price for it. You know, it's, just, it's, it's not enough in there to justify what they want for it. But this is. And eventually, I'm going to get the others down, down the road. Hopefully, they keep it at $12.99. I doubt it, but still. I can't overspend like I did this month. I went like an extra almost uh, 700 this month. And I mean, I saved last month, you know, I had an extra like 350 something, but still, you know, I, I didn't pay attention to what I was doing. Finally, Last Action Hero went down in price. I, I was not paying $30. Uh, the first wave sold out. This is the second wave, you know, the reprints they did. And this was at uh, 20, 22, 23. Scooped it up. Had to. I was hoping for the Running Man. 
the Running Man still at a high price. They did lower the Christmas care. Uh, was it Christmas Story? But I think they can do better now. You know, I'm I'm already in the new month. Usually they drop these uh, last months down to $9.99, you know, or, or at least cheaper. And that's what I'm hoping for because I'm not going to pay retail no more for those. They got to go down. <laughs> Let's see what two things fell to the floor. Another Starship Troopers. They've already released Starship Troopers 4K as well as Steelbook. You remember the Steelbook? Yes. Now they made a new design still book. I'm huge uh, Star Troop. I mean Starship Troopers fan. 25th anniversary. I went ahead and got it because I think there's like a new edition added into it, and it's in Dolby Atmos and um, was it Dolby Vision as well. So double dipping. I hate to do that, but it is what it is. But something weird is they actually sent the cover like this, and the the bottom pushed inwards. And it's supposed to be there, but because they had, to, I got this crease now. I mean, uh, the warehouse workers or whoever the manufacturer is or whatever, they they did that dirty, you know. So I got this little extra loop. That's fine. That's fine. It is what it is. And Walmart had this bad boy for nine ninety nine, both of them. But I wanted the exclusive cover, so I scooped that up for nine ninety nine. Can't beat that. So that is what I had. Black Friday deals. Hopefully I showed everything off. And, and didn't leave anything out. If so, oh well. But there's still some other things coming in the mail. That didn't come in time unfortunately. I love the book. A lot of reading. To, I'm huge on these type of books. So it is what it is. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, uh, nine, was it 9.5? Black Friday deals and stuff that came out, goodie drops. Definitely hit that bell to subscribe. Leave some likes, some comments, and like always, enjoy. <laughs>